So here uh, will be the final part of the video. I'm going to talk about um, um, sedation package that the patient is receiving. Uh, I treat sedation package the same way I treat oppressors. So I want to minimize the time the patient is off these medications. And I want to touch on a few things here uh, that are uh, during my practice uh, I saw some problems with. So if you if you only uh, take uh, half sets and you connect them to hospital administration set, whenever you encounter a Baxter set, a Baxter set is basically has a hospital uh, cassette that looks something like this, right? And the way it's hanging will determine if the flow facilitates uh, a, a good good flow or not. So if it's hanging like this, when you coiled it up, uh, you may have some errors and it may not flow. So I usually do not like to take uh, huge cassettes or big chambers uh, from the hospitals and put them on half sets. So I really try to avoid these things here. So if you have alarms because you're carrying these things, most likely it's when you coil this up to hang it up, hang it up upside down, and it's not really facilitating it. So just avoid it all together. So I'm, I'm going to show you uh, how to get these uh, uh, sedation package on board. And I want to really uh, show you uh, the dials and uh, how it looks on the pump. So you clearly see uh, the rates and everything like that, so you're able to do it. So imagine, again, uh, that these uh, are connected to the patient via central line uh, and through the hospital pump. Here we have uh, a fentanyl citrate. It's 50 uh, micrograms an hour. Uh, and here we have Versat, and it's going at 20 mLs an hour. So again, central line. And this is how the patient will be on, on these strips. Sedation is very important and analgesia is very important. You never want the patient uh, pulling out their tube uh, when you're in transport. You don't want them being agitated. You don't want their blood pressure skyrocketing. And you want to have them feeling comfortable. How would you feel if you had a tube stuck in the back of your throat and you were fully awake and aware of everything that's going on? I, I bet you, you wouldn't like it. So please do not. Uh, you know, do not take them off these drugs for long periods of time when you're flushing and so forth. So, so again, these things are running, uh, and now our turn uh, has come to take them and transition. So again, I'll 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 uh, come with my pad and I'll write down exactly the rates, uh, make sure everything is great and everything is uh, in order. So fentanyl here, uh, it's infusing at 50 micrograms per hour at uh, at five mLs an hour. And here, Versed is infusing at uh, 20 mLs an hour, and it's the order is 0.1 milligrams per kilogram an hour. I would write these down, and I'll have the nurse sign them. So I use a continuation form, or use a regular ACR for this. So once that, that is done, um, I take my 60 cc syringe, and I'm gonna take a 20 cc syringe. The reason being, fentanyl here is being infused at five mLs an hour, and if it holds 20 cc syringes uh, at four hours. So I'm not worried about, you could use a 60 syringe, no problem, but 20 is compatible just as well. So uh, we'll start off with fentanyl here. Uh, take an 18 gauge, or you could take a bigger gauge, 14, 16, doesn't really matter. The bigger, the better, the faster you get. Again, you're gonna put the tape on here. Right. So I want to sh I want to show you what I actually write. So here is going to be fentanyl, right? And we said it's five mLs an hour, and we said the order is five fifty micrograms an hour. You obviously also want to have the concentration, a uh, thousand micrograms and a hundred mL D5W written down on your paperwork. But um, I don't, um, you can write it here as well if you like. So once this is established, um, you're going to take your alcohol prep or chlorhexidine. Again, you're going to wipe here. And you're going to take your med. So again, the patient is being uh, infused with the meds. Is not of the pump, right? Close. 
get all the bubbles, all the air out. Okay, sharps container. Uh, take your half set. See all the air bubbles cover. So I'm at let's make let's bring it down to 15 minute mark to, to make it easy. To 15 ml mark, sorry. So we said it's gonna be at 5 miles an hour, so channel A, right? So uh, while our uh, primary rate, right? So we're gonna push down fast, we're going to get it to 5 miles an hour, 5 miles an hour, we're going to enter, uh, volume remaining, it's 15 here, right, so down, fast, 15 miles an hour, enter, and volume infused is how much we gave, we gave nothing, clear, so this is the parameters you want to have. And again, you want to confirm your uh, five rights, uh, the right patient, the right drug, the right route, uh, the right time, uh, the right uh, uh, administration, and everything like that. Uh, medication errors happen frequently, so you always want to confirm with the nurse, with the physician, and so forth. So again, make sure it's flushed, connect. So syringes are pretty easy to connect here. One, strap, two straps, you're all set. Right. Get your pistol slide out. Everything has to be labeled like we talked about. Right? So here. You're gonna write fentanyl. You can use a pen, doesn't really matter. Right? And you can you could play a bully cassette. So you know the drug is going, right? So this is ready to go. The next drug, uh, so keep in mind this is still being infused to the patient via hospital pump. The next drug we're going to use is uh, Versat. So here, the rate is 20 mls an hour. Uh, if your transport is short, you could probably use a 20 C syringe. Uh, if your transport is long, you probably want to take a 60. Lower lock. Again, we're going to take your uh, alcohol, wipe the bottom, connect it. Get into a habit of doing everything systematically. Like just because the patient is getting only two drugs, do not slack. Do not just like you know take it uh, and say I'll remember, because when things go bad, you will not remember. So again, you'll write where I said twenty miles an hour, and we said zero point one milligrams per kilogram. Per hour so everything is labeled I try to put tape away from uh, the ML markings so you could track how much blood you have remaining another good thing to do is uh, you could take these bags with you uh, for transport if they start running out you could just refill them no problem again you take your uh, half set I'm just reusing another one that they used previously and you're gonna flush So 
So let's flush it to 60. 60 ml. So. Come to the pump. Right? So we said 20 ml is the rate. 20, enter. Uh, 60 is here. So you see it's at the 60, 60 mark. Enter. We gave nothing. Volume infused nothing. Clear. So everything set. Put in your set. Secure your map. And again, you're going to label it here. You connected your Verset, you label your cassettes, you label your fentanyl. So now you have two, two lines, right, uh, running here. Make sure you, this is the Verset, you label the distal end as well. Verset, right? So here we have Verset, here we have and patient is now being uh, infused via hospital pump. So what you could do, these drugs are compatible. They could be infused via three-way stopcock. You could use that, or you could just disconnect them uh, from their respected lines. So if they're using two lines, you could disconnect them from their respected lines and infuse it through there. So since uh, uh, we have a three-way stopcock here, I'm just gonna utilize it and again, connect them here. So local label, right? And here we talked about again the long tip means off. So this is off to the patient. This is off to Versed. This is off to fentanyl. Right? And this is open to patient and both of them are infusing. So we start our drip. Right? Make sure everything is going good. If you need to confirm your pump, you confirm that there's no uh, blockages. Uh, when you're ready to transition, you disconnect uh, the hospital pump. Right. Clean it with alcohol. Obviously, make sure you use sterile uh, technique here. And you connect your two way here. It's a lower lock system. And make sure this is this is off to the side, so it's open to the patient, it's open to Verset, it's open to fentanyl, and it's being infused. And this minimizes the time uh, of the pump for the patient, and it facilitates uh, uh, easy easy transition between hospital pump and your pump. So carry carabiner, um, very easy to attach. You could attach this in the back of your stretcher, you could attach it in the back of the ambulance, um, or any other place you may want to hang fluid. So carry one or two in your, in your pocket, uh, if you don't have an IV pole, this is very convenient. Uh, I like to carry a Sharpie marker because uh, it's just easier to write on the cassettes, easier to write on the tape. You could carry a pen, doesn't really matter. Uh, but Sharpie works pretty well.